Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Um, today we're just going to take a look at my uh, daily workflow. So, among all the other things that I might do during the day, I have 21 uh, Zebra thermal printer motherboards that all have busted USB ports. So the Amazon distribution centers in my local area send me these on a regular basis. And I'm holding the camera and trying to take that out of the bag with one hand. So this one I, I chose specifically because it shows what happens when the port is shoved all the way back. It actually takes out a couple of uh, components. Let's take a look at those. So you can just see to the right there, there's a, a filter that's just barely hanging on. And then there's a missing component on the left of that, which would have been like a transistor. We'll just go ahead and take the port off now and then we'll replace those two components. I'm only gonna do the one uh, motherboard for this video. Um, and, and I still have 20 more to do. I'll do those in between doing other repairs and so on throughout the day. So this is just a general maintenance kind of thing. That's all we're doing here. Uh, there's not a whole lot of um, troubleshooting involved. I mean, we already know what the problem is, physical damage. And so I won't be doing anything at the end of the video that demonstrates that these boards actually work. Just understand that Amazon has hired me to do these on a regular basis. They send them to me routinely. And if they don't work, they just send them back to me and they say, hey, they don't work. Um, so generally speaking, as it stands so far, I've not had a single one ever return back. It's not working. But we're going to go through the process of actually replacing, well, removing uh, the old damaged port and then replacing it and any other components that may have been affected. Here you can see where this uh, filter just to the left there is kind of sitting on its side. We'll be taking that off and replacing it. And then there's a, another little um, transistor to the right of that missing. We'll also replace that. Some of these videos uh, do have my new video equipment, but I'm not using it in this particular case uh, because I'm just focusing on the actual recording. I want to incorporate at least three different camera angles, so I have this camera angle and I have the other camera angle, plus a third one including me. And um, since I haven't considered that as anything important in the past, I haven't done it. Also, I haven't had the equipment that allows me to do that in a, in a sort of convenient way. We're just, we're just basically removing any leftover bits, broken bits from these components. And then we're tinning the actual pads and getting them prepped and ready for the new components. Okay, I think we're ready to put the new components on. We should be ready. What we're 
going to try and do is just line them up with where they are supposed to actually be, uh, centered on their respective locations, and then we're going to use heat from the hot air station to flow them in. So you can see that the hot air actually can push them out of position and so we may have to come in with two of these and make them up with However, once we actually get the solder to actually start melting, they'll actually snap themselves into position quite nicely. These two have now solidified and are exactly where we want them. So we're going to come back again and put on the port. This is just a, a basic port. The color does not matter. In this particular case, it just needs to be able to line up with the proper uh, pen out. So we have an orange on the one that we took off. This one's white. That makes no difference. In this case, it makes no difference. So we're going to go ahead and solder in everything, but while we're doing that, I just wanted to mention that I, I do have 20 more of these to do. This video was just to hopefully upload and uh, give you guys an example of sort of how my workflow might go in any particular day. I could have, say, 21 of these and then any other repairs that may come in. That's a lot of laptops, game systems even some televisions and so on. I don't really record uh, every single thing I do. Uh, I try to upload things that were relatively examples or guides. And, and so I've not focused a great deal on my personal, uh, me personally. So this is one of the few uh, in the recent, the last couple that sort of focus more on what I do on a daily basis. So hopefully you found this interesting and um, at least from that perspective uh, to kind of give another little bit of a window of perspective on what I do on a daily basis. Um, I will uh, not be testing these boards in this video. You'll just have to take my word for it that when I send these back to Amazon, if they didn't work, they wouldn't continue to hire me. Um, so far I've not had a single board come back and I've done several of them. In this one day alone, we've done 21 of them, okay? So hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, you know, it does show some of the um, processes that take place in some basic maintenance on these boards, replacing a port, for example. Not too difficult. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.